these are hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when we're in an age, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Thank you. So marriage joins two people who trust the love that they have found. It is a partnership in which each can grow while sharing in the development of the other. And it is a statement to all around you what you already know, namely that you have found that very finest quality of love, support and friendship that you wish to share for the rest of your lives. And today you will affirm your relationship by offering each other the security which comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. Mike and Lucy, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding vows you are about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life but to the exclusion of all others. It is a solemn union that provides the love and friendship, help and comfort that each should have for the other, both in times of joy and in times of trouble. It is not to be entered into lightly, nor is it likely to be set aside. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I must now ask that if anyone present knows of any just cause or lawful impediment why this marriage should not take place, they should declare it now. <laughs> Chris, 
again, we can't actually have any photographs taken during this uh, part of the ceremony, but we will set a, a dummy register up so that you can take some photos then. And Lucy, if I could ask you to uh, set the table.